all right guys welcome back to this channel so today we'll be looking for the atomic packing factor for hcp yeah so first of all we need to remind ourselves the volume of atoms which is 4 over 3 pi r cube so first of all we need to look for the number of atoms now this diagram we can see that we have six atoms seated at the edge which will be denoted as one over six times six plus so this is a facing atom this is a facing atom and we know that every atom on the face is always divided by two half now in the center we have three complete atoms it is pregnant of those atoms so we say three times one plus so if you look at this down part also we have the same six corner atoms which is one over six so our last bracket says one over six times six so six cancels six two cancels two six cancels six so we have one three one one which is total of six atoms let's remind ourselves that apf is equals to number of atoms times the volume of atoms in the unit cell over volume of unit unit cell right so we really count to drag this down so we can do this so going on we already have this and we have this so let's just look for that so we know it is six times the units um six times the volume of atom which we said it is four over three pi r cube so punching this into our calculator we have three in year one in year two so two times four is eight so we know okay we have eight pi r for this portion moving on now we need to look for our volume of unit cell i'll need you guys to pay attention because now it's going to get very very interesting so let's expand this All right, so the first thing I need us to know, the first thing I need us to know is that the unit cell for HCP is equal to the base area times the cell height, which is usually denoted as C then for our base area it is usually three times the area of our para le pied a c d e which is shown in this figure so this is the a c d and e which was drawn out here and this is our c which is the cell height right so drawing out a c d and e parallelopied right this is our a c d and e so tracing it down here we have our b so what it's trying to tell us that it is three times this is the height area of a parallelopied is the height times length so the length is going to be our a to c and as you can see given here any distance traveled is a so from here to here is a from here to here is a so all we need is and we know that this angle is 60 degrees then this is obviously going to be 30 
degrees this obviously would be 30 degrees all right so now that we know that we have our this is 90 degrees so we know we have our our adjacent then we also have our hypotenuse which is the longest side and we have our angle so we know we are applying cos yeah so let's do that we go ahead by saying cos theta which is 30 degrees is equal to adjacent which is our h height over the hypotenuse which is a then we cross multiply making h the subject of the formula then cos 30 is known as root 3 over 2 sorry 3 over 2 times a which is equal to our h right then remember that i said here that our area our area is equal to the length c d or a d you know all sides are equal times the height that we just found in which the height is root 3 over 2 times a right and here our length cd is denoted as a so all we just have to do is first of all look for our base area so base area is equal to open brackets our a times a dot root 3 over 2 so if you go ahead and solve in the brackets we'll be having a square root 3 over 2 into a bigger bracket 3 so by the time we expand this totally so therefore our base area would be 3 a square dot root 3 over 2 therefore this that we just found here is our base area and if we should go back to the formula above where we said the unit cell volume of unit cell is equal to the base area times the cell height so now we know our base area to be coming here now volume of unit cell we know our base area to be 3 a square root 3 sorry this is a square root 3 over 2 times c but then i want us to take note of something right so i'm going to be writing something now let me change my ink so i want us to recall that a is equals to 2r some of you might be wondering how is a equal to 2r so remember our parallel pad we have circles so this is our a whereby we have one radius one radius so adding both radius it becomes a is equal to 2r right so let's erase this which you know as a is equal to 2r then at the same time you can always tweak your formula to say r is equal to a over 2 whichever one you want to do but let's just stick to this then there is um something else we need to take note of which is the ideal ratio for hcp and the ideal ratio for hcp is c over a is equals to 4 over root 6 which is equal to 1.633 then we could as well say c is equals to 1.633a right so if you go ahead we could say let's substitute our a to be 2 har So we come back here to say C is equal to 1.633 times our A, which is 2R. Then when we punch that into our calculator, we know we have 3.266R. Now we just got our C. So let's go back to the beginning. Now, what is everything we just did? We've been trying to look for the volume of unit cell 
right so we have to first of all look for our base area in which the base area is three times area of parallelopad we went down we found it and this is our base area down here right then we went ahead now to find our c which is this that we denoted as c is equals 3.226 um 3.266 har remember we denoted here the atomic packing factor is equals the number of atom times the volume of atom in the unit cell over the volume of the unit cell so now we have each of our parameters so for everything at the top we know it to be 8 by r cube so let's come here on the fourth tab okay so now we can say our atomic packing factor for hcf is equals to 8 by r cube over 3 a square roots 3 over 2 times 3.266 r now we could as well simplify this in such a way that this a will not cause a complication for us we come here the equation becomes this over 2 times recall that a can be represented as 2r so we substitute a as 2r so it becomes 3 times root 3 times 4 times r square over 2 which is 10.4 r square so we come here looking for our atomic packing factor we erase this and substitute it as 10.4 r square so this is an r this is an r they cancel three of these r's right then when you punch this into your calculator you should arrive at 0 0.74 percent sage for your hcp structure all right guys make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel thank you and peace out